For today, in the name of freedom, we take the battle to them. So yesterday, the season finale of Only Murders in the Building Season 4 aired. And really, that ending, man. What the actual hell was that? Of course, we did find out last week that it was Marshall who was the killer. And I'll be honest with you, I was pretty disappointed. Mainly this episode, when once the secret is out of the bag, the secret, the cat's out of the bag, uh, he just goes ghost face on them, which... Given that there's six Scream movies, I've seen this countless times, and other movies as well, where once the facade vanishes, this character just goes batshit insane. You know, Marshall is kind of very oh, friendly, timid, yada, 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 but then as soon as the ghost face mask comes off, ah, oh, just scream fuck every 10 seconds, uh, just go you're aggressive and all this, it is so cliché. And I was so happy that Jan killed him. One thing that I did love about this episode, though, was that we did get more of Saz. Because Saz was uh, honestly my favorite character. And this season really just shattered my heart because of what happened. And I know it happened at the end of last season. But this is where we, of course, had to deal with everything. And, you know... I don't know if I preferred this or season three. Those are definitely my two least favorite seasons, probably. But yeah, uh, this one was just so sad to watch. I only did start watching this show like, like a couple of weeks ago. Uh, and then last week we found out, oh shit, we're up to date. So we had to wait. And yeah, I was... I, I couldn't believe it that they killed Saz because as soon as Saz appeared at the end of season three, I was like, yes, my favorite character, she's back. And then she gets killed. I was like, it should have been you, Charles. And speaking of which, I am completely blaming Charles for that ending because this episode, I was like, you know what, Lester, I said it as soon as I was watching, you know, the show from season one onwards, I was like, Lester is one of my favorite characters, Lester and Howard. The, the goats, they are the best. Until Howard ratted them out to the <laughs> to the actors. And uh, he was like, oh yeah, they went to Charles' sister's place. That's when I was like, okay, Lester. As long as Lester is okay, well, and Oliver's dog, Winnie, as long as they're okay, I'm happy. Oh my god, man. <laughs> what the fuck? Why, why, Lester? Oh my god, you could have killed anyone. You could have killed Uma, alright? Anyone from the first season. Why him? And again, I'm saying, sorry, I didn't even elaborate on it. I'm blaming Charles. Because this is 100% his fault. Every single time he like disregards someone who's talking to him, they end up dead. It happened with Bunny, and now it happened with Lester. Why? <laughs> We also did get a cameo by uh, Amanda from Jurassic Park 3. Ah, uh, she's gonna, I swear to God, if they made her husband's name Ben. Oh my God. <laughs> I honestly don't know where this next season could go. I don't know who it could be. Because, I mean, they very easily could have just left Jan and then had Jan show up in season 5 and be the killer, which... That would have been really disappointing. I'm glad that they did it the way they did in the season. The fact that she kind of, she wanted to kill the killer. I really enjoyed that. But yeah, I just, I, I don't know. I really have no clue as to where this could go. But really, you could have a season like season three where it's not exactly exciting. But as long as you have these three, the main trio... It'll be entertaining as hell because, come on, man, you can't get enough of Charles and Oliver together. And, of course, Mabel thrown in there as well, especially with Oliver's, I don't know, I don't know how Martin Short does that, that I don't know. I've seen people theorize that this one could be Uma, and I, I'm, I'm going to be honest with you, that is possibly the dumbest thing that I have ever seen in my life. 
How 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 could it be Uma? Have you seen Uma? She is like non-existent. She is the least energetic person there. And you know what? Actually, I said the same thing about Jan. I was like, Jan looks too old. It can't be Jan. Oh. <laughs> this show is really good. It is really, really good. It's just, it's not the most amazingly written thing in the world because like I said, season three and parts of season four are very, uh, they can get tiresome very quickly, like Oliver and the play from last season, and this season the kind of like the movie part with the actors and all that, but I love the fact that they kind of tied it back with Saz, and really, it just made that entire thing even sadder, <laughs> knowing that she went and wrote a script about her best friend and everything that he's done. God Damn it, I'm a sass. I really need to stop liking characters because every time I go, oh, this is my favorite character, they end up dead. Yeah, it happened with Saz. It happened with uh, Lester. I'm hoping, I am hoping that Winnie will be okay. As long, actually, I'm not gonna say as long as Winnie is okay, I'll be happy because Rip Lester. But yeah, I just kind of wanted to give my general thoughts on this uh, this finale. I thought it was I thought it was a decent finale to be honest with you. It didn't really feel rushed and I feel like they kind of wrapped up certain storylines from the season really well and it didn't feel, you know, like forced or that they were trying to cram too much into one episode. I thought it was pretty good. I'm also really happy that they killed Marshall off really quickly because as I said in the beginning, the kind of ghost face, like unmasked ghost face persona was sickening after about three lines. So, you know, I'm really happy with that. I would really like to know your guys' thoughts on this show, like the entire show, because I only really watch the awards shows to see like the actors and things like that, all the people I recognize, you know, it's, it's like, it's basically like the Deadpool and Wolverine of of uh, of real life, you know, and uh, yeah, I mean, the Emmys, I don't watch any shows, like, I only watched the Emmys last year in hopes that Better Call Saul would win one, and of course it didn't, 60, I think it's 63 nominations and no wins, but I'll be honest, this show, I, I don't really understand why it's gotten so many nominations, you know, the acting, yes, of course, the acting is good, but it's not like, it's not like award worthy. <laughs> And I just kind of wish that I had watched this before watching the previous, the most recent Emmys, because Martin Short and Steve Martin, they were the hosts. So I, I don't know, man. That really, really annoyed me. But uh, yeah, I mean, we'll see what this gets nominated for as far as the Emmys go next year. And uh, yeah, please just let me know your thoughts on the season four finale. What do you think could happen in season five? And do you think the killer is someone who we have met already? Because that is something that they could do. It could either be a brand new character or it could be someone from season one, which I kind of like because they slightly hinted at it in this season where the actors were theorizing and going, oh, it's, uh, it's someone from the beginning, the note on Jan's door, who killed, who poisoned Winnie and all this. So yeah, just let me know your thoughts on everything with the show down in the comment section below. And if you did enjoy this video, then please leave a like, subscribe, and goodbye.